Hey, Internet friend, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative, and I've got a friend online. I've seen her on social media, and now I get to actually talk with her as a real human being, and her name is Gina. How do you say your last name? Is it Pino? Pino. Pino. Yeah, Pino, like, um, like Pino Grigio without the T. There we go. Exactly. It's Pino without the T. Get it. <laughs> Perfect. So first, I'd like to find out where you live and who you are. And you're married, got kids, single, wild, and crazy. And where do you where do you reside? I think you said over on the east side over there. Yeah, I'm on the east coast. I'm in New Jersey. And um, right now, I, uh, I am divorced. I have two kids. And I am a passionate mama bear. So that <laughs> is really where I direct a lot of my energy. Um, when I'm not actively involved in my business. Yeah, two. You got a uh, boy and a girl, two girls, two boys. How does that work out? I have, yeah, my son is 14 and my daughter is 11. Oh, you so, got a mixture. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're really good kids. They're good kids. I don't have any kids, but I get to observe other people and I can see it's, it's a job because there's no owner's manual, is yeah. there? <laughs> no. No. And <laughs> when they give you your baby... In the hospital, they should really give you a cape too. <laughs> okay, there you go, and a trophy, and all that. And, all, and all that stuff. Seriously, seriously. So, for your business, are you like home office? Is that how you do your thing? Yeah, yeah. This okay. is it. In fact, Perfect. I started. It was so funny. Um, I started five years ago, uh, not online. Um, but I started in my closet. I had a little closet that I created. You know, so finally, I had to come out of the closet. <laughs> And I had an actual office. You know, I was working um, with uh, women with fertility challenges and birthing. I worked with hypnosis. And so then I finally got an office, you know, um, like a real office with a rent and everything. Right. Know, and I loved it. But, um, you know, now that I just shifted, I had some health issues. Uh, and that actual business just, um, you know, Kind of went under because I wasn't in it after I I had gotten sick. So uh, you know during my recovery, I um, I discovered uh, working online and digital marketing, and um, so then now you know hence I work from home. Yeah, well that's part of the challenge with the with the retail kind of thing, and it's no fault of the person. I mean something like you had a little health issue and a little bit of glitch, and you've still got yeah. those bills that are coming in, and and oh, unfortunately yeah. the it's it's very it's expensive to have insurance and a workman's compensation mm -hmm. and your insurance for your space and your rent. And there's so many things that, God, it's just as easy just to work from your phone. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Mm. And um, it's, it's interesting now too, because although I don't actively practice hypnosis, I, I use those practices all the time when I work with my business clients. And it's so great to be able to connect with people from all over the globe you know, and still, you know, share um, in a very intimate way, just online through Skype or Zoom. So, so that's what you do. You're a business coach, right? Yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't like to say coach only because everybody is coaching. I know. I'm, it's annoying, actually. I'm more of a business teacher. You know, my background is in education. Oh, is it? And I, yeah, I work with um, infants and toddlers with disabilities, and then uh, I shifted direction, went into special ed for a long time, and ended up working for the state of New Jersey um, as a coach <laughs> and a consultant, uh, working with schools uh, with whole school reform. So we looked into uh, low-performing uh, school districts and really helped those teachers work with kids that were just really not getting it. And, um, and and helping them excel. So, see, I, my wife is a was a Spanish teacher at the University of Minnesota, and now she does coaching. And same thing, she doesn't like the word coach because everybody does yeah. it. And unfortunately, yeah. the internet has made things available to everybody, and now everybody's a right. marketing expert or a social media expert or a coach right. or. A, and it's yeah. uh, so it is interesting. You have to kind of change it because that's what everybody I else is. So. Yeah. But the, yeah. I'm a I'm an advocate of coaches. I have uh, one that I use that's not really a coach. She's more of a massage therapist that we do mm -hmm. some coaching before the massage, which is cool. Okay. But it, it, I think it's important to have someone else's eyes and someone else's ears to listen to what's going on because oftentimes we're stuck in our stuff and yeah. they need to rattle it a little bit and go, oh, I didn't. I, oh, now I see it. So I'm, yeah. an, I'm an advocate of coaches or whatever you want to call yourself. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that's really good. Yeah. But, you know, I find, though, that I do like the teaching aspect of it because mm -hmm. there's a lot of people who are just, you know, either coming online or starting with like either new opportunities. And I work with a lot of holistic health 
okay. um, professionals and they would like to have an online presence and they don't really know how to do it, but you need somebody to teach you how to do it. You know, right. it's, it's easy just to get information, but sometimes you need that hand holding that person that can kind of walk you through it in small, simple steps and understand that you've really gotten it. I think yeah. especially too for like uh, like the holistic community, I look at them somewhat as artists in that uh, yeah. they don't sometimes don't have a lot of logic. They're kind of more working on the emotional realm of things. And mm -hmm. marketing takes logic and, and yeah. business things. And there's a lot of things that you could, like say something as simple as getting an LLC or something like that. They'll mm -hmm. go, oh my God, how am I going to do this? And you could just say, just download it and fill out the paperwork. You could right. give them a lot of shortcuts because you know the, yeah. the business aspect of it. Because you're yeah. very cool. So, again, I don't like doing these too long because uh, the commodity yeah. of time. So, I'm going to ask, how do we get a hold of you to, if we want to, to, to work with you and learn more about what you do? I'm assuming you got some kind of like free yeah. download or something we can learn about. I do, actually. <laughs> um, my website is ginapino.com. So, it's G E N A. P-I-N-O.com. And right on my homepage, you have access to my Be Magnetic Daily Guide for Attraction. So I like to help my clients infuse vision and intention in their actions. Cool. So mindset is not something that's separate. It's something that we use as that template to direct our energy and our actions so they really get to our results, really connected with us. So that's, uh, you know, you have access to that right on the home page. Okay. So you can click on that and get that download. Well, I'd like to talk to you more about this after we sign this off. So if you'd stay <laughs> online. But um, sure. before, I want to ask my favorite question, and that's the big why question. And you kind of alluded to why you're doing this because of your yes. how you shifted. But what's the deeper reason of why are you doing this? Why aren't you like uh, selling ice cream in a park? Or why aren't you like a ski instructor? Or why aren't you doing like teaching yoga or something? Yeah, well, because it's funny that you said that because I literally had a near-death experience two years ago. I had five heart attacks. The first one I had, wow. um, the doctors actually, when I went into the emergency room, they gave me too much medication and I went into cardiac arrest. So I, um, I left my physical form and went into all of my energy. So it was a different experience than most people have, like floating maybe above their body. I went into all of it. And I was shown uh, just the art of creation, you know, and, and our choices and how that affects our experience. And I chose to experience um, attracting money in my life. So I didn't come back to <laughs> save the world, <laughs> or, even for my kids. And my kids like, oh, mom, you didn't come back for us, <laughs> you know. But <laughs> I literally came back to like learn how to you know, attract and create money in my life and to help other people do it. So that's why I do this. I think actually. that's, I mean, if you look at it, like money, they say money, you're all about money, but money is just energy. Yes. It's just a measurement yeah, tool exactly. for us right. to emit energy. So kind of what you're doing is you're teaching people how to receive energy, which is a lot of people, they're good at giving it out, but are they willing, I mean, taking, accepting yeah. compliments? Oh, no problem. So you're yeah. very cool. I love it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to okay. sign this off and beam it up to the universe and see who we can attract. Okay, sounds good. I appreciate Thank you taking you the time today to be on Synergy Cafe. Peace. All right. Peace to you too.